when they ask me, mom, does it hurt when we get bombarded? Do we... Do we feel the pain or do we just die at once? And I have to explain to them, no, don't worry, it's not going to hurt. Their father is like, don't worry, it just goes whoosh, one time and that's it. Before, we would tell our children, for example, don't worry, it's going to be okay. It's going to end soon. You're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Everything is shaking. Everything is shaking. But now we literally tell them every night, don't worry, we're together, sticking together. If we die, we die together. Death has become a reality now that we're just living under, waiting when or how it's going to happen. Since the Israeli army encircled Gaza City, it's been ongoing non-stop bombardments all the time from the land, from the air, from the sea. Uh, our building is always shaking. Three days ago, we woke up with the, 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 the smoke of this forest inside our homes. We ended up in the basement. It was the best place that had the less smoke. I'm going downstairs, but the smoke was too much. <coughs> So we ended up coming up here again. It was very scary because the kids were, they were coughing, they were suffocating, their eyes were itching. But when it comes to my children, it just hits me so hard, Dina. And I just feel that I can't control it anymore. I can't be that strong, brave woman who's able to control things or, or get things under control because they're my weak part. My little one, Judy, she's always this character who's, she's so full of life. She loves to, to, to joke, she loves to sing, she loves to dance. She brings happiness into our home. But now I just see her so quiet. She's always terrified. She doesn't eat much. She doesn't feel like doing anything. I tried to speak to her about things, you know, bring back some happy memories. And I said, Juju, what would you like to do the first thing after this war ends? She told me, mommy, I don't want to do anything except for this war to end. I just want these bombardments to end. Everything, the destruction, the despair, the loss. I don't want to tell you that now we're just hearing news of people dying every now and then, people that we know, friends, colleagues, everyone around us and it just you know we're like Allah yirhamu. may he rest in peace and that's it and just we just go on because we are just waiting for our turn <laughs>